So this is like a standard kind of setup for doing a, a chip tune show. Hi, welcome back to the shed. Just a quick intro here, following on from my last video where I showed you the LSDJ software. We're going to take a little look at what I've set up for doing my live stream and um, show you some of the gear and the kit that I use for, for setting that up. Right, so I'm in my games room at the moment and it's kind of chaos, really. There's stuff everywhere. Um, so let's take a little look at what we've actually got. Well, I've got boxes piled high with, with tripods on top. I've got my TV on with its its lights flashing at the back. I've got a little multicolored changing light over here. And this is where I'm setting up for actually doing my, my set. So I've got the blinds closed and I've got cobwebs and stuff on there. They should look pretty cool later with the lights. You can see now it's it's daylight, but later on when it goes dark, this is hopefully going to be awesome. I've got my cool little uh, Halloween decorations on here. I've uh, got some little lights around. And I've got my laptop set up there for recording the audio. Let's have a little look at the, the tech bits and pieces and see what we've got. We are now behind the desk. So this is like a standard kind of setup for doing a, a chiptune show. Uh, I've got a mixer in the middle um, just to alternate between the two Game Boys. It's kind of like doing a DJ set where you've got one turntable and another and the crossfader between the two. So with that, I can have like all the songs set up on a cartridge and have a, the cartridge copied on both. And then it means that as one's coming to the end of a song, I can start queuing up the next one and have that ready instead of stopping, loading up, all the rest of it. So it just makes the thing go a little smoother. I've got a Game Boy Advance SP because uh, some of the songs are a little detailed, a bit complicated, and there's a lot going on in them. And sometimes the processor on the DMG struggles a little bit with it. It's still worth using the DMG because the bass sounds so good out of it. So some songs I'll be doing on there. Some songs I'll be doing on the SP. I've got my headphones to monitor it because I'm not actually, normally when I'm, I'm doing my music, I've got these monitor speakers that I'll usually have switched on. Um, but in this case, I'm going to just have my headphones on because the audio is mainly going to be on, on the final video. Hopefully the audio is going to be done on the computer. So I'll record that. Uh, using Audacity and then when I edit the final video I'll be able to layer the music together so it doesn't sound all echoey in the room and it comes straight through so we'll see how that goes. So in terms of the audio setup, uh, although I've got my, my little mixer here, this is a an iRig mix. It's really really cool portable little mixer. Dead simple controls but it just allows me to increase decrease the volume on each Game Boy and swap between one and the other. Also it's powered via USB so I just use USB brick with it. Um, and then when I go to gigs and things, it's dead easy to set up. And I just take the the um, output of this and plug it into a mixer. It's usually on the mixing desk. Now, in this case, I've got my, my permanently set up mixer over here. So this is a Behringer mixer, uh, which has got various different connections in. Uh, what we're going to do is I'll have the audio from both Game Boys going into this mixer, which I'll be able to monitor with my headphones. And that then goes out to here. Uh, which is hooked up to the, the lights for the flashing lights and also to my computer so I can record the audio separate and then layer it all together. And I think that's that's pretty much it. In terms of, of recording it, I've got one camera set up at the side here that'll be like a bit more of a close-up view of, of what I've got going on on the desk and then one a bit more at a distance up on top of the uh, tripod up there and we'll see how that goes because I've got... All these sort of cobwebs and spiders and stuff that should look pretty cool. So <sighs> we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I've never really done anything like this before. I've done it before, like live at a gig with a crowd, um, but, but pre-recording it and then streaming it. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> and that's it. So thanks for watching. Uh, so next time I'm going to set everything up is to actually do the show itself. Um, so as soon as that's done, I will uh, be loading it up on here. Or you can tune in to Calm Down Kidder on Twitch and watch it live on Halloween. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Thanks very much.